So maybe you have asked yourself or aspire to be a head grower and wonder exactly what their job entails. Well, this Tobacco University video will go over just that. All right, let's get into what does a head grower at a cannabis facility actually do? So first off, their general uh, job description. Well, they manage all aspects of cultivation, including budgeting. Uh, they're head of all growers and all cultivators. And they, their job is basically to oversee the crops from the seed all the way up to and including the harvesting procedure. Now their day-to-day -day activities, again, will always kind of be a little bit uh, variable depending on the size of the operation where their plants are, but they basically will oversee daily growing operations. And they ensure all documentation is complete and accurate. And documentation is a very important component of the cannabis industry. They will also issue corrective and preventive actions called uh, CAPAs, work with laboratory employees in creating a production schedule, and maintain and conduct vault inventory. And again, this might depend on the size of the operation. They're also responsible for overseeing the, the cure room operations and conducting employee training from entry level all the way up to upper level. Create and maintain standard operating procedures and ensure the safety requirements for staff and product are maintained. They're kind of like the one that is responsible for all aspects of, of the plant growing process. Now there will be uh, lower entry level growers and responsible more for the day to day, if I'm just call it quote grunt work. Here the head grower, really all the responsibility comes down to them at the end of the day. So the qualities that a head grower uh, must have is typically a bachelor's degree, knowledge and experience with the American herbal uh, ph pharmacopoeia as far as knowing their practices, and extensive knowledge of the harvest and care of med medicinal marijuana plants in general. The requirements are 21 years of age or older, uh, pass a criminal background check, good communication skills, and good organization skills. Uh, the organization skills are very important because you need to have the ability to document all of the different aspects regarding the entire growing process. Now the connection to the cannabis industry, just kind of how this head grower ties in, is that they are the head of the entire growing operation, that's where the name comes from. Therefore, they have over, oversight over all other growers and complete control. So that's why the responsibility lands on their shoulders. When they make a decision, that's why it's going to proceed forward, hopefully for the better. Uh, but if it's not, it doesn't work out as favorable, they take the blame. Uh, any slight mistake from the head grower could potentially harm the consumer, so redundancy and quality control are key in this position, and that documentation is very important. And it's important to be involved with the plants. Yes, a lot of head growers can get caught up in a lot of the other aspects of growing. It's important for them also to have a direct plant connections as well, as well as those communication skills to hear from those uh, that might be lower on the list there, hearing what they're seeing, making adjustments, catching problems early, and preventing them from becoming larger problems because ultimately the responsibility all comes back to the head grower.